Hello everyone and welcome back to Linda's Art Studio. Today I'm going to make coasters. I've already poured in my first layers and I will decorate them and then pour the last layer of epoxy. And for my decorations I will use some washi tapes that I have from the washi tape shop and this is those I will use. They are the same, um, how do I say, the same uh, colors and stuff. They are in like a package of four. And I will use one in each. So they look different but they are in the same colors. And I will also use some uh, of my relief paint. I haven't decided which color I will use yet, but you will see. And those washi tapes has like a sticky back, so you need to take off the back paper. Can be a little bit hard. There, as you can see, there you just peel it off and then you decide how you want it. This is the, the design I choose and I, that's because I wanted the birds and those gorgeous flowers. And then I just use my X-Acto knife to cut it, but be careful when you use an X-Acto knife in molds because you can cut the mold and then you will leave a mark in your resin when you pour, so be careful. Just like that. And like that. This will be my second design. I 
I just want to say all not all washi tapes have like this in the back. I have like those that is just sticky here. Have I also? I have a different. I have kind of many <laughs> washi tapes now, or I have some at least. I uh, I forgot to say I have also a code for the washi tape shop. They have so many different and gorgeous colors on washi tapes. This is just one of them. And as you can see there are a lot of different patterns in. And I will leave uh, my link and you will get some of your orders off. Uh, so you will save some money. And I am a failure to them, so I get some things from them also. I can choose if I want money or if I want uh, to buy more of their washi tapes. And this is my third design. <clears throat> now the third design and the fourth one <clears throat> but 
but I will leave all of my my links to to all the places I have that you can get some of them a little bit cheaper like I am an affiliate for the washi tape I will leave it down in the description it's those and I also am affiliate to meld molds so you can get 10% off your molds this is molds and shapes I don't have a code for this one but they are also stunning and I have a link also to my Larissery glitter um, those glitters Larissery I will also leave a description or a link to their website because they have gorgeous glitter I've never seen a glitter like them before and you will get some of the money off them also if you click on the link and use my my link I think I will use this relief paint. It's from Amsterdam. I think the brand is Amsterdam and this is the bronze color. So then you just squeeze it out and make a line as you want it. I will add my decorations to them and I will use some glitter also but I need them to dry this one to dry before I add the glitter also but I want kind of a kintsugi style and if you 
what I like about this paint is that if you don't like any line like I did, you just wipe it off. And from for some of the outer lines I will use this one it's the same brand but white instead of bronze so this is the one I will use as extra lines just to make a little extra Just like this, and now I will leave them to completely dry and then I will add some sparkle and glitter to them and some colors. And I forgot to say, uh, the base that I've painted or the resin before, I have mixed those two colors together. To mica powders you can use whatever color you like and whatever washi tape you like I just wanted to show you how I did it hello again now everything here is dry and I want to decorate some of the lines so I am going to use some of my lyricery glitter and this is the two I will use this has like um, this side it's a pink and if you turn it around a little bit it turns um, purple you can't see it on the camera I think but it does in in real life and this is uh, if you want to use the exact same you just go into their website and order this 
and I will leave the link down below if you buy from my uh, code or my link you will get some percent off and I do I am an affiliate to them so I do earn a little bit for uh, showing you this or if you buy from my link and this is the second glitter I will use and there is the code and I have two cups that I've used sometimes and I will use them again and for decoration oh sorry I will use UV resin to stick everything down just like that I can pour it in in this one also and if I need more I can just pour in more I will use the perp um, the pink ones in this. It's this one, and for like the lines outside, I will use this one. I think this is the most beautiful glitter I have ever used. Seriously, they are stunning. And they don't cost that much and they are really really pretty I I don't think I will use my normal glitter after this glitter it's like seriously it's beautiful <laughs> I will probably use them but I will leave links to everything I've used here and also my coupons and my links to everyone that I have discounts for. So you can go in and check it out if you like something. Some of the things I buy from Amazon and some of the things from other places. Like this one is from the Rissery and the molds is from Molds and Shapes. I love their molds by the way. Uh, this mold I've purchased myself but they are stunning. But I will not bore you out with this part so I will you will just skip the part when I add the pink because now you have seen it and I will show you when I put on some of this glitter also not everything but some of them hello again now this glitter has dried completely and now it's time for me to add the second glitter this glitter I already poured in 
my UV resin as you saw me do before and I will do the exact same progress but only not that line I will use it in the white line Those colors in this washi tape is just stunning and they will pop more when you put the last layer of resin up on it. It will be such a beautiful thing. They really make them pop when you do that. You will see later in this video. <laughs> I think the purple and uh, pink one is really nice combo here. I will draw the lines one more time with white and the copper-ish um, lines so they can pop a little bit more because they kind of disappeared a little bit. And I will do in every corner here. I won't bo bother you with all of it. But here you're seeing an example of what I'm going to do. And I will do it for the all coasters. Hello again. Now this is all dry. As you can see, everything is dry. 
So I, as you can see, I mixed up my resin. And it's time to do the final top coat and then let it dry until tomorrow. And then I will have my D mold. Now I will leave them to, I will take off every bits that I've overspilled and then I will leave this to dry until tomorrow. But first I will use my alcohol spray, isopropyl alcohol and just pop the bubbles. Just like that. And now I will leave it until tomorrow and then I will demold tomorrow. Hello everyone, now it's 12 hours later and this is dry. So I will take them out and demold them. The first one. The second one. Third. I really love this washi tape. As you can see, they really pop in epoxy. And the glitter just make it a little bit extra. I really hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and there will be many more in this kind of category uh, because I like doing this it takes some times but it was really enjoyable and I hope that you find some inspiration in this video and give it a try because this was really really fun and I will leave everything I used in the description box even my codes and links to get some discount on your order but please buy for now and I will see you in the next video bye